Next up on Howler for an Hour, we have Dreadstar, the quest for revenge. This here is a shoot 'em up that caught my attention because it is a shoot 'em up with a nice style and apparently a pretty good, pretty good chip tune bangers too. It's good, but uh, it appears to have controller support, but I can't seem to access the video. Whatever, I'll use my mouse for this. Let's see what we got. Blazing pals, what the fuck? <laughs> a simple journey. Turns into disaster. Disaster was to the right. We had to pad the camera. Oh, it's, it's literally a skull ship. Hey, I think they're good guys, right? Let's casually go to the escape pods. Ooh. That's really the ship design of somebody you can trust. No time. Father! You know, there was two seats, Father. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. And then we got flamethrower. <laughs> so spiders from Zelda. Shit, they learned... At that time, you bowed, vowed to avenge your father and take down the evil Dread Skull. The spiders from Zelda got space age technology <laughs> ten years later. In your quest for revenge, you became a mercenary, finding all of those who threatened humanity. This is this is like steampunk, steampunk or not sci-fi Zelda, future Zelda, futuristic Zelda. Okay. Ooh, Jules. Also, does he expect? Yeah, does this, what does this feel like to you guys? What 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 console does this game feel like to you guys? So we get individual health bars. That's cool. Wait, we have other weapons? Oh shit, we do. Nice. Click on the map to select your destination. Select the sector. Also, I warped out. Interesting. Click on the ship to change your equipment. Okay, so oh, I do have. Sort of control over. Okay, I see. Left, right weapon. So, main weapon. Okay. There's DPS on things. All right, this seems pretty good. Let me look at the options real fast. Just want to see something. So, zero two. Th oh, the left and right weapon shoot together. Okay, that makes sense actually. Okay. And shield is button one. Okay. Alright, I have learned. The statue in the back looks like insufficient funds things are censoring boobs. Payment air says insufficient funds. Well that's how you that's how that's how you know that's how that's how sci-fi porn works. Like you can take a look at the goods kinda, of, but sorry, Sitzer Bar, pay money. Now that you can remove it then. I like adjust the I have to wonder. Let me use my mouse. No. Is that Nuka Cola? Hmm. So I can level up my main weapon, etc. Again, what is my 540? 540, 540. Okay. Is there like a uh, heat per second? Okay, I do have a heat level. Figured. Well, I can't actually uh, buy anything. Are those VHS tapes that I'm saving with? Interesting. Kind of look like it, at least. Actually, we got like a classic 80s tape deck here, I just realized. That's pretty good. I like that. I like I like the anachronism of that. How do we start the next mission out of curiosity? Oh, the map. So, un un uncharted sector. Aldarian, far away, Redbeard's Burrow. Far away sector, distress call. Help us! Pirates have taken over our sector and threatened the balance of the galaxy! That sounds pretty dramatic. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's a neat effect. I like that. Alright. So what is actually what did everybody what did everybody answer when I asked that question? You guys feel like NES? Super Nintendo? Commodore 64. I'm feeling Commodore 64 a little bit with the music. ZX Spectrum 2. The music definitely feels like one of those European consoles. Well, they weren't just European, but they only really got popular in Europe outside of Japan. 
the uh, Americas had a ZX Spectrums and Commodores, but I don't think they really took any sort of off compared to what they did compared to how they did in, like like England. Um, <laughs> All right, let's play. Am I rescuing people or capturing people? Function. Where is my heat meter? Oh, there it is, I see it. Okay, so it's fine to... Okay, number one thing I need right now... I can just immediately tell you it's a problem and I need it. I need I need more movement speed. That is the thing that is messing me up right now. I need that whatever it takes, I need it. Because I am a sluggish asshole right now. And that that is the number one killer for me. I need I need some agility in my shoot 'em ups. I'm sure we could upgrade though, so. Where the fuck's my life bar? Oh there it is. No, I'll tell you to look at this. Look at the uh, hut when I'm. Okay. Oh. Oh, more? Okay. Was well, not just a sub boss. Or it was just a sub boss. I mean. Let's right, so be careful. I don't want to die. Okay. Ah, oh, darn. For oh, shit. What? Oh, we have. Fortunately, we can clone ourselves. That's good. We're level two points. Payable upgrade points. Okay. We have one upgrade points. Um. That virus sound drowns out the good tunes, does it? Let me fix that. Never mind. The audio is not this. Huh. Unfortunately, we can't even rebalance between the uh, the sound effects of music because it's one audio bar. That's a shame. I always wonder when devs don't balance their audio like that. It's you're right though. It it it. it it's always weird when a game doesn't balance its audio correctly. So what's our shield do? Just armor. Oh wait, I haven't actually used the shield. I forgot I had the shield actually. I'm so focused on fighting. Put a point in the main weapon. I assume that affects the main weapon slot, right? So in other words, when we switch out the main weapon slot, that upgrade will stay it'll still stay if we put a different gun in. But hey, at least while we did die, we did actually should get some upgrades too, so. Whatever. We still made progress, so I don't really mind dying. remind oh that's okay so warping lets us sleep hull damaged oh so it is so the damage sticks around interesting I mean if we die it resets so whatever but it's good to know <laughs> Yeah, oddly enough, though, the shield button doesn't work. I don't think we have a shield, or at least not one that we can activate. Because I pressed it, I know what button it is, and it doesn't seem to be doing anything.
I do appreciate Shiva if it lets you take a few hits. Honestly, it's always the kamikaze ships that fuck me up the most. The ones that just decide to run into me. Those guys are... They're easy to miss. They're easy to be focused on something else and you get run into by those guys. Like that! <laughs> well, the shield requires a certain amount of heat. Maybe. Although, I'm not mad about dying, though, because we're still gaining experience, so it's not really a big deal. Let's see if, like, our hull remains damaged. Whatever. Whatever. It is- I do have to say, though, it's always nicer to play- wait. Yeah. The mouse doesn't let me move my ship, I was checking. It would feel, like, more awkward to slow movement speed, though. Um, I- I would say, it's, it's a bit of a shame they didn't design a different interface for use with the controller. I mean, I can move the mouse cursor with the controller, but it's, it's ungodly slow, if you notice. So I just- I don't even bother, I switch to actually using my mouse, I put down the controller. Any game that encourages you to put down your controller and use your mouse and then go back to the controller is doing a little something wrong with the control scheme, you know? Like, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be having to switch. Just to make it more comfortable. So, a little bit of a lack of foresight there, I feel. At least every time I can die, every time I die, I can destroy that cargo ship for a lot of jewels. That's adding up to be useful, I think. Also, I think we have an experience here somewhere. Maybe it's based on the gems, but I don't think so. Maybe it is though. I don't know. I have maximum heat, and I still can't use a shield. I tested it, by the way. I'm not really sure what's up with the shield. Oh fuck, bolts everywhere. I'm gonna play it safe when I see the little ships because. You know, we know what we know what they're gonna do, and we don't wanna mess around with that. If I can, I'll just kill the whole line of them. Ooh. Oh god. Nice. I'm very scared about the Kabakazi ships. They're the main threat in my book. Oh no! That guy had a little more health than I thought he did. What's your theory, by the way? About the shield? You know, I don't think I have a shield. I have armor. I have hull. But you don't see a shield here. Technically. It might take a weapon slot or something, I don't know. Is there a shop somewhere I can, like, shop at? Need some rest, take a break at Redbeard. It's the best shops, repair station, everything, facilities in the galaxy. Oh! I just thought that was another, like, level. But apparently this is my shopping. Okay, okay. Good thing I took a look. I just heard Redbeard, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go after pirates in the Redbeard area. But no, it's, it's this, okay. I guess it's good to repair. Wait, what? Does that just cost most of my gems? Alright. <laughs> How many gems did I have a minute ago? Did anybody pay attention to that? I don't think it was really... I think I'd rather just be down a hit point rather than spend all my gems on healing a hit point. Hmm, hit per second, 102. 114 from a little more damage.
If the if the save doesn't wait. Rocket stuff generate heat. Fairy didn't repair for how many runs? I mean, still, I had 45. Oh, I thought I had like over 100. That's not so bad. A gap gun. Okay, that's just taking straight out of. Let's just take it straight out of Deus Ex. That gap gun comes from there. Really interested in buying anything, even if I didn't have money. I could sell things though. Not that I have anything to sell either, but you know. <coughs> well, let's see here. Halls. Okay, that might be worth upgrading. Oh, more slots. Hm. Armors. Gives you an extra hit point. As far as I can tell, all I did was restore one hit point though, car. So, I don't know. Just specials. Here's the shields. We just don't have one. But admittedly, I don't really use shields oftentimes to shoot them up, so. Here we go. This is what I want. This is what I fucking want. The Ion Engine, price 800. Okay. I have a goal. Because, yeah, the number one thing about me, I will be as competent in a shoot em up as I have the speed to be competent with. The faster I am, the better I tend to play. But I guess there's a limit, though. Our type let you get insanely fast to the point where you couldn't control yourself. I don't think I'm gonna have that problem here, though. Yeah, it looks like if we die, we keep some of our gems, but all, all. Granted, we can warp out if we're about to die. Uh, which I guess we kind of need to have a little foresight if we're about to die, but. Tell the skill. Oh, God damn it! I. This is why I can't read the chat. I was like trying to give a take a moment to read the chat, and I got hit. Yeah, chat read will have to wait between levels. Skill point though. I saw that I had a skill point. Apparently, I, did, I didn't notice that. I'll spin it later. It's gonna up my weapons again, probably. Less damage to it that time. You know. Okay, cool. I like how it's bolts disappear when it dies. I appreciate that. money whenever I die? Like, do you think I lose money? Do you think I lose most of the money I got in a stage when I die? Or do you think I lose money I may have even collected over time when I die? Also, I should have run into those enemies. God damn, I was, I was a little too high on the screen. That was dangerous. The stationary ships seem to have a lot of money. Or more often, like, off, more, off, more often drop money, so I want to destroy them whenever possible. I wonder how long this level is.
God damn. Upward shot bolts always annoy me in shoot em ups. And get very much in the way. You look like the sort of ship that'll shoot a giant laser beam. Oh god, no, okay. Oh, I destroyed it though. Okay, okay, not too dangerous. Also, this face seems pretty easy. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Watch the bat watch the patterns. Watch the patterns. Oh, careful. Shoot a lot of those guys now. How are you not dead yet? God, you have a lot of health for being so broken. Look how fucking broken ass this ship is, and it's not dead yet. There, thank you. I was gonna say if the level continued after that, I'd be very upset. Rank C for charm. Thank you very much. How nice of you. Jim's need to gravity towards you harder. It is a bit of a shame. That's part of the reason I wanted the movement boost, too, because I also have to use movement to collect things, so. I agree, by the way. It's really sad that the shooting sounds overpower the music. The tunes are pretty pretty nice. They're not, like, absolutely, like, the best music I've ever heard, but they're nice and bop, and it'd be nice if they, you know. Oh, I noticed the heat goes down if I upgrade certain things, too. Um, it'd be nice if we could hear it easier. So... Let me save. I'm just gonna be patient, though. I'm waiting for... Oh, we open up the silence sector. Cool. Though, I'd like to know something. Can I repeat that mission for the same benefit? Because if so... We will be pretty close. Dare I try it? Hard mode. Hard mode would give me what I need if I can beat this. We're not upgrade whatsoever, really, but let's see how it goes. If nothing else, though, it'll up my experience. We just leveled right there, so. Okay, it looks like the enemy patterns might be a little more congested. But here's the thing, I'm just gonna, since I am not able to move fast and fly across the screen to fight things, here's what I'm doing. I'm claiming the left side of the screen. The left side of the screen is mine and in my territory. I won't worry about the rest of the screen. And the left side's my, my, my screen. This is the part I'm gonna keep safe. It's mine, nobody can, nobody can claim it. I had another skill point? Oh, I didn't even know this. I don't know. I wonder if the bosses will have different attack patterns or if they'll do the same things. Guess we'll find out. Looks like the same things. Same health part, too. Hard mode is harder, but it's definitely manageable. I'm a one-hit wonder this stage, though, because of lack of healing, so we'll see how I do. I think there's a good chance I'm going to die, but we'll see how it goes. Again, I'm not really concerned, though, because I'm at least gaining experience and some of the money. Though we'll see if we lose my gems. I have 440. I did save before this, so if we lose my gems... That's a key thing. Let's see if we lose money. Okay, bye, I guess. 
Well, I meant to fight them, but if they get out of my way, I guess that's fine. Pay attention to my money, guys. I want to know if I lose anything. Oh shit, it's not dead. Oh! I thought I killed that enemy, but I had not quite killed it. It did half explode, but it didn't fully explode, so... <laughs> I should have died right there. Damn, there's a lot of things I had to destroy. What I'm a little concerned about is I'm noticing that the, uh... These back shots are the most dangerous thing, really. Alright, there we go. Got to the boss, let's see how it goes. We have immediately learned to watch out for that fucking shit. I see- I can tell what he's gonna do it though, so it's not so bad. This phase isn't that bad. I just need to make sure I destroy the droids. And just kind of pay a little bit of attention. This phase is where things get more dangerous. Like, I, I feel like I'm gonna get clipped by one of the purple bullets. Or that the drone, I'm gonna miss the drone, and it's gonna take me out. It's pretty important I shoot my powerful shot whenever the drone's around. So that way I can make sure. I need to make sure I don't actually dodge into his purple shot, so. I see. Okay. Yeah, it's just. It's, it's, a, it's a predictable pattern, but it's still a tricky pattern, you know? Okay, cool. One hit wonder that one. <laughs> but I did it. Let's go let's go get my well earned points for that. But also weapon up. The bullet not only provides another threat, but it also let you, doesn't let your heat cool down. What bullet? I did forget to spin the ploy, but it's not the end of the world, you know? No, I spit it now, though, so... The drone. What about the drone? Oh, when the drone's around, my heat doesn't cool down? I actually didn't notice that. Okay, this is a different person. Alright, well... Alright, let's, uh... Go to the... Engines. Yeah, we have a... We have a... I think we have a... Eight. Maybe it was a seven, what you are using. Anyways, I'm gonna go with this. Weird. I had to select it here and then hit this buy button, but I was kind of confused because this looks like BU4. This doesn't look like a Y. I hate this font, kind of. I get that this font makes it limited as far as what things it lo should look like, but why does it look like a 4? <laughs> it kind of threw me off for a second. Um, critical damage. It's fine. Mm -hmm. One hit wonder is a normal way to play this sort of thing, so... Yeah, that was an 8 that I had before. Now I have a plus 3. Good. That doesn't change the heat usage, by the way. Seems engines do not generate heat. Convenient. And then I'll just sell this, I guess? There we go. Repair 2. Um, can I afford it? Yeah, actually, I could. There we go. <laughs> also, there's Red Bear. I guess sometimes his droid takes over. Alright, cool. Brutal. Honestly, hard wasn't that much harder than normal, so... Now that I have all the speed in the world... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Look at this shit! Oh god, these take them all day to destroy now. <laughs> 
That's what I'm talking about. Look at it. Look at this. Look at it. I can I can avoid anything now. Ow. Or I can run into anything. But the, but the, the possibilities are endless. Holy shit! Actually, this might be a little too fast. Shit. I may have bought just a little too good of an engine. Dread, I think they're one for one. I think I bought it for 800 and you could sell it for 800 too. So I believe I believe it's one for one returns, which is nice. That means I can be like, oh, I don't like this. Let me switch. <laughs> the speed's nice, but it's too much. A little too much speed. The amount of the difference that that made was pretty significant. Wait. Oh shit. <laughs> right, okay. But I can't fly over there without an engine, so. Um. Maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna think. I think like Xen an engine. The, the amount of difference of speed between 8 and 11 is kind of ridiculous. 8's like glacial, 11 is fucking Sonic. Um. It's kind of weird, actually. Because you think, if 8 is sluggish, then 3 more points plus 8 should not be that much different from sluggish. But it's actually a lot fast. It's just weird. It's like, if the engine was, if the 8 engine was a 1, and this engine was a 4, then that would make more sense. But, it, it's just weird. You know, if we started at 8, then we went to 11, that doesn't sound like that much of an increase. Also, the gems you lose are only those you get during the run. That's good. That's good to see. It is kind of dumb you can't swap out parts in the shop, because look at this, I have to go back and then come back again, and then... It's dumb. So... At least it is a one-for-one one return, meaning I can do this experimentation without penalty. Let's try the 10 engine, then. See how that does us. That still feels pretty fast. Is it too fast? I don't know. It's probably fine. God, the amount of speed difference is ridiculous. Why is the 8 engine so shit, but then every other engine's like, BOOM! This honestly might still be a little too fast. There's a, there's a balance, you know? Okay, this is brutal, though, to be fair, so this is harder, just in general. I can still do the thing where I guard the left side of the screen, but now I have less space I can guard because I can't kill as fast. Oh well. Ow. Am I getting more money for the brutal enemies, by the way? I don't really have time to, like, look over my HUD, so you guys figure that out. I don't think I am. Monstrum on the left? Yeah, we're not playing that anytime soon, though, because it hasn't released. It's been delayed, actually, because they're... It's fine. It's quality control. They want to make sure it's polished. an understandable thing. Oh god. Yeah, I might still be a little fast. I was trying to position between those shots and I couldn't do it. I over- I over moved. That's fine. I'm experimenting. I'm experimenting anyways. God, the, why is 8 so bad and then everything else is so high? I guess we'll go to 9, then. It's kind of perplexing to me. Like, just basic ratios. The green star is warp. You know how things have muck 1, 2, 3, etc.? You know we have, we have things like... Oh, yeah. Yeah? You think it's like muck based? The end of level reward is the... Yeah, obviously. Um, I 
I guess the nine engine might be good enough for me then. I do not know what's up with the warp time. There's these engine downs here that have different speed ratios and they have quicker. Oh, the amount of time it takes to blink out of a level. Because you can warp out of a level. That's not a big deal. I don't. Not really too interested in that. Right, now I got this. Now I got this engine. I'll sell the other engines later. Um, but nine engine, yeah. That'll probably feel. I really hope that's not. I really hope we didn't just go back towards the glacial scale by getting that engine. But we'll see. Obviously, there's another mission I can do, but I'm just tantalized by the money. Sorry. Okay. God, even this. Yeah, this feels good actually. Yeah, I think this, this is just the right amount. Okay. I think the I think the eight engine wasn't actually eight speed. I think it was defective. That's what the branding said, but it wasn't behaving that way. So really, honestly, I shouldn't even worry about trying to get the money out of these uh, enemies. I really should focus entirely about. Oh goddamn! I ran to the mine. I should focus entirely about just surviving. Killing things is good to m make a little room, but I only need to kill as much as I need room. So. Yeah, it's really the end of level bonus that matters. I wonder what the little people are. Sometimes the, the, you know, I just picked up a green guy. What does that mean, you think? If I survive to the end, maybe we'll find out. That guy's worth killing, but whatever. Like, very occasionally I pick up a, pick up a little Among Us astronaut, I don't know. An engine higher than 11? Perish the thought. That sounds ridiculous. Okay, we'll know if this is a good speed or not, if I can fit between these shots. God damn it. I mean, yes, I can, but I did that wrong. I don't normally let him live long enough to get to phase three. Phase three is fine, I guess. I killed me last time because I wasn't really trying, admittedly. I was doing engine tests before, so I didn't really wasn't really trying to the absolute best of my ability. Still technically I am Ah Okay. It's fine. Everything is very spongy. Gotta be careful. In okay, normal difficulty was normal. Hard difficulty put more enemies around, but they had the same amount of health. And, uh, Brutal seems to give more enemies and increase their health. Oh god. It's really just a survival mission for me. If I just know the safe spots, I should be okay. It is worth reloading after dying, though, because, you know, haul points. We can get, try to give up a full haul if we do that that way. <laughs> the left side of the screen is my spot that I understand, so I hang out here. I can barely kill those guys to fly past. Oh, there's another little guy. Ow! Okay. Oh, the little guy! Ha ha ha! I just realized what the little guys do. Better them than me! When I take hits with a little guy, they count as a shield point. Temporary hull, basically. So what, I just take the pilot out of their ship, and the enemy pilot, and then I just strap them to my ship so I take extra hit. Sounds good. Shame, the music's actually pretty good. If I was the composer of this game, I'd be kind of salty that the the designers balance the audio such that my music basically couldn't be heard over the gunfire. 
Cause fun fact, when you uh, when you when you play a shoot 'em up, there's a lot of gunfire sounds. So those gunfire sounds, you know, they shouldn't be terribly loud. I'm really just attacking the drone. The uh, the boss will take incidental damage, but the drone is like the concern because it's flying right in my fucking face. If that thing's doing that while I'm also dodging bullets, there's gonna be gonna be problems. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how the rank C- Fuck you in your rank C- I hate- I've expressed this before, but I'm not really fond of games that rank you when you are playing them. And it's a really simple reason why. I just beat Brutal differently. That was hard. I did it. Feel accomplished. And then rank, rank C comes up to let me know I suck still. It's like, no, you know what? You suck. For trying to rank me. It's like, no. Come on. Yeah, the game developers should be pissed at themselves for making the gunfire so loud compared to the music. It's just a- like, this seems pretty competent. But what's up with the audio balancing? It makes it seem unprofessional. Even though it actually seems pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I found my engine of choice. Now let's, uh... Um... Oh, we can definitely do some repairs. There we go. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have. Because I could just change out for another ship. I've got enough money to. Hmm, shields. See, these don't have shields. I can't even put a shield on these. These have shields. More importantly, they have weapon slots. Hmm. I think I should upgrade my armor, maybe. Ah, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Is there an armor like... Auto repairs! I was wondering. This regens. Okay, here we go. Now we're in business. Advanced region armor. Yep, that'll do. I don't like spinning to region. I don't like coming back here into heal, so you know what? Yeah. Five hit points and regions. That'll do. I recommend weapons. I'm fine. <laughs> the problem the problem with weapons is that they have heat, so I have to think about this. When it comes to weapon buying, like, I have to consider the heat value. And, uh... See, the, we're during 102 heat, and we can... There's nothing here indicating that I can... What's the word? I'm looking for cooling units before I buy better weapons. But I don't know if those exist. If I bought a better ship with more slots, throwing some rocket launchers in would be nice and cheap. Specials? I often don't use specials in shoot 'em ups. Prefer my own. I prefer my. I prefer my uh, trusty guns over any sort of bombastic one-time use skill. Very fast gun. Uh, well, let's, let's just look for damage. What is the highest damage weapon here? Lightning gun. Double heat. Okay. <clears throat> I can see about grabbing the lightning gun and putting it in the main slot. 900 for that. Or, no, I mean, 885 for that. Silent Sector. The war against rogue AI is never over. Not over. I'm not gonna play the hard modes anymore, by the way. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be advancing now. It's gonna murder everything on normal. Plus, I want to see how many missions are in this game. It seems like there's not that many sectors, but... Also, speaking of the audio balancing, when I'm shooting more than one bullet, the audio stacks and gets louder. Observation. What the hell? Just a factory on a railroad, okay. <laughs> kind of distracted me, so I didn't properly attack it. Hey, that's rude. Don't do that. 
You know, this is actually kind of a trope now I think about it. It's a really weird trope. I've seen a lot of shoot 'em ups that have a factory level where there's railroad tracks and then there's enemies on those railroad tracks or like the fire equipment attacking you. That's a strangely common shoot 'em up trope. Like, it seems really unique, but I've seen it in a number of shoot 'em ups at this point. A Pew Pew game! Welcome! Yes, this is a Pew Pew game. Common Ryan Mazinger? Oh god, hello! Oh. I don't know what happened there, but ow. Please stop, I can't get around this. Oh my god, dude. I guess I gotta move fast, or there's not space between the. That's. That attack probably should have had a gap somewhere. You, you guys noticed that I was just kind of fucking forced to take damage there because I didn't plan the I didn't I didn't manipulate his attack pattern correctly, so I just got forced to take damage. Not really the coolest. The hell is that thing? Okay. What if the region will only region one health point per run, or if it will region the if the armor will region to full between missions? I would hope full, but we'll see. A lot of little guns, all right. Overheat. Well, it's not overheat. That sounds like bad. I don't know why, it's only a little bit of money. I should not ever get greedy in this game. The end of level bonuses are much better than what you get for the enemies. Even on the easiest level, it seems. You should always take it a bit easy. Kill what is more threatening than anything else. Attack again, okay. Oh, okay. Home attack, home attack, got it. Wasn't aware for a minute. Uh um Okay, okay, okay. I get I get I get I get what you're putting down, I get what you're putting down. Wait, is this just what you're gonna be doing now? Okay, you changed your attack there right when I couldn't I react to it. Thanks for that. I knew that was going to happen. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Fucking cheap shot. Also, uh, oh, it does restore its own armor. Nice. It's always the thing. That I, I would say that the most dangerous thing about a lot of Shuma bosses is the moment they change their attack pattern to another one. There tends to be a bit of crisscross between the two attack patterns. It's a little awkward, or it could just catch you off guard. I got unlucky. The attack pattern changed at the exact moment I wasn't expecting it to. The exact moment I was really, well, literally in its face, I guess you could say. It's like, I was, it, it does take up a lot of space and screen, so that requires quite the reflex. I mean, now I know it's gonna come, but I still won't be able to tell you exactly when it's showing up. Well, time to beat the level again.
I mean, I basically beat the level last time. Just I'll die at the end. So. What the hell happened there? I guess I leveled. I'll take it. Honestly, if I just play a bit better, I can afford some hits on the boss, so. Let's just try to get there without taking hits. Just gotta watch my aggression level. And this boss, though, I just, it comes out fucking swing, swinging. Oh, come on, what? Okay, nothing actually hit me, but alright. I don't know if anybody noticed that, but like, I kind of hung to the, the right during a, in a little gap. He charged forward, I got hit by nothing. His sprite wasn't present where I was. But I guess he has a square hitbox, so I got hit. Mm, not sure how I felt that. No, okay. Also, occasionally, and I don't know if this is my controller, I doubt it because it's wired in right now. But very occasionally, and I don't really understand it, occasionally I just don't move. It happened just there, it made me nearly get hit. Sometimes my, I just lose control, uh, like, of movement. I just stop for a second. I'm not sure what's up with that. I, I could blame out the controller, but I feel like it's probably the game. It's very rare, but it does happen. Egypt's remains is it's not enough profit to make it. It's like a little bit of bonus profit, but it's not really worth much now. So this is Eliza, huh? All right. I'm really worried about hitboxes now because of the last boss, you know? There we go, okay. Again, kind of awkward, but all right. You can stop shooting me. Okay, that's really weird. Previous bosses, when I killed them, their attacks, their projectiles immediately disappeared. That boss still did a couple attacks while dying. And those attacks weren't going away. Hmm. Yeah, warping out doesn't feel worth it either. I could see warping out if you got a bunch of swag in level and you don't want to lose it. So you leave, but like, you don't get much swag though. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just find the next level. There's only so many sectors. What happens if I beat all these sectors? Let's let's find out. I think I if I if I I, I probably should have been maybe trying that before, but eh, whatever. <laughs> This looks kind of evil. There's asteroids here. Gotta have an asteroid level in your shoot 'em up. Seems pretty destructible, so. Which is good, because there's probably a number of them. You notice, though, my, my method of trying to claim the left side of the screen has been working pretty well for me. Here, though, I'll just claim a... I'll claim a path more than a, more than a section. Asteroid levels are hard because there's a lot of shit coming at you, but... The trick is not... it's just to carve a path. 
and not worry about trying to clear a ton of the area. Just make a little path. If you have a path, you're good. Try not to be on the edge of the screen like I am, though. You want a little bit of left and right space. That way, you have more options that way. So, like, right here is good. Is this, is this the level? Is there enemies, or is it just... Is it just a, can you survive the asteroid sort of situation? Okay, there are enemies, eventually. Old ruins, okay. I'm fighting a ruin. What is a ruin? Okay, ruins have mysterious energy blasts, got it. This is like if I went to Greece and just got attacked by a random... <laughs> right a piece of ancient history, okay. I'm not actually- okay, I'm doing damage. It's just weird, because the health bar shows another display when I shoot the invulnerable parts. It's weird. Hi, D hi, hi Satan. Well, I found Satan, everyone. Uh oh, oh. What? Wait, are you actually harmless if I go over here? Oh wait, no, not, not quite harmless, but... Good to know I'm safe over here, though. Oh, what? You froze me? Interesting. Okay, not safe if he does that, admittedly. Actually, a freeze attack is kind of bullshit, dude. <laughs> he could just freeze me and hit me. Like Flash Man. I see. If I see the green stuff, I get. I should get that. Oh, the, okay, the control thing I mentioned just happened there, by the way. I was trying to go left, but the game was like, no, you're still going right. And I was like, no, I'm not, game. But... Is this a dragon, actually? It's called Ghidorah. I guess? I mean, I found my safe spot. Actually, you know what? You guys want to wager something? I want to wager that I could literally put the controller down and go get a glass of apple cider and I'll be fine. So one moment. some apple cider. How's our, or how's our dragon friend doing and killing me? Eh, not too well. <laughs> By the way, while I do not I do not like fights being unreasonable in shut ups, I will say this much. If a boss has a complete and utter blind spot, it typically is not that well designed. <laughs> Double that! <laughs> Still got rank C, even after wasting time. I'm not even sure. Oh, there's a timer. I think I'll go ahead and play the rest of the missions, though, because I have a hunch that I could just do it. What was the, what was the objective there? Rogue, that was, okay, the Rogue AIs was a factory, and that was, plans of sector have been disintegrated by an evil force. 
Well, those plants should have probably just moved to the lower left corner, and they would have been fine. <laughs> Beetle Goose. Beetle Juice. We actually awaken a native race of fleshy monsters. Oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> you know, they just did a little bit of an oopsie. Oh no, these, these enemies are straight from, uh... It's always weird when you're flying in the air in a shoot 'em up and then destroying something on the ground. A face monster that shoots faces? Okay. As before, I'm just gonna claim this edge of the screen. Mine, nobody else's. So these enemies are basically swarm tactics. That can be problematic, but it's not really a big deal. It's like asteroids, just kill the ones that are in your way. Hello. Okay. What is this called? Wait, what's it called? It has a name. I can't quite tell between all the blobs. Uh, Munch something? Munch head. Munch head? It's hard to even hit it. God. This is not a dangerous boss, but I can't fucking hit it. There we go. Bleed. Now there's less of this. Look like a big nose to me. You squeamish? I don't know, I think they're kind of fun. Wait, hold on a minute. Why well, don't I get too close? I don't know it's hitbox. But I think there's a blind spot I can hit it at, kind of, if I, uh... There we go. Okay. Guess I shouldn't be surprised if the stock can attack too. Oh yeah, the bomb that's of the stock can be hit, so its hitbox, its hurtbox would have been bigger than I thought, so. Glad I didn't try my theory. I basically can't fight if I'm destroying the big blobs, because it makes too many... It has good defenses, I guess you could say. What's, what's this thing's name? I can barely tell when it's barely on screen long enough to see. If I even pick out the name. Much Lazer? Sounds like a German word, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Time consuming, if anything. I took damage because it's just it's just kinda wearing me down, yo. It's, it's annoying. Ah oh, fuck! This is not a fun boss design. I'll just say it that way. What was that flesh flesh bo oh hello. Okay, they have projectiles. They have taken over our ships and Guys on the ground that just kind of stand there looking pretty, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. So that was just a normal blip, but I don't think they had anything they were doing. Oh, is that like a tank they took over? Okay. The flesh is taking many things over. Yeah, be careful here. I'm gonna save a couple hits for the boss. If I can. I have a feeling this game actually doesn't have that many levels. But if, even if it doesn't, it has pretty good level variety all the same. It's kind of feels like a best of, actually. M remember how- oh shit, hold on, wait, I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Remember how I said, like, that the factory level thing was something I've seen a lot of shoot ups well, so I have seen the flesh monsters, and so I have seen the, uh, asteroid-filled area. It feels like a best of of different shoot up tropes. The fuck? It's a fucking fiddler crab. They took over the defense force building. Alright. Uh-oh. Oh, oh shit. Hold on a minute. Um, okay. Hold on. 
Oh god, okay, um... I'm probably gonna die in a minute. Sorry. Apologies for the waste of time. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. Crab's gonna slash me and murder me, probably. Uh, what, what, what do you do? Okay, blobs. Not big deal. He's probably gonna do in some sort of slash attack that's gonna fuck me up at the wrong time. At least I leveled. If nothing else. Okay, this isn't so bad so far. I'm amazed that he's not Pitzer attacking me. Oh yeah, these little friends. I should probably kill his little friends, huh? Ugly mother! This is ugly mother? <laughs> oh, does he spawn the shooters? No, I think they're just hanging out. Wait, is this it? No, there's more to this than this. He has multiple phases. We all know he does. I'm worried he's just gonna sucker punch me with attack I have. Okay, he's dead. Oh. Well, that was remarkably simple after I got around the five million rockets being shot at me. Alright, I will get new weapons, but I am not liable. Please keep in mind, I am not liable for any problems that occur with heat. <laughs> that is to say that if I don't manage my heat well, it's not my fault. You made me buy the new weapons. <laughs> His name was very threatening, but it wasn't very dangerous. I, it, I'm amazed the crab didn't crab attack me. Like, it was pitcher attacks, you know? Is this just a no heat ones? Yes. I was actually thinking about upgrading the ship. I have a lot of money at this point. Let's, let's see uh, cost of ships again. Pricey boys. If I got more slots, I could throw in some missile launchers and it'd be pretty simple, actually. It's worth knowing that I can sell the old starship for 500, so... Got a bit more money to work with here. Or well, I could sell the ship and then buy the laser, but... Actually, it doesn't really... I don't really need the laser. Eight slots is good, but... I'm just gonna buy this guy, the racer. Yeah. Uh. Sweet. Oh, those are for special... Oh, they're not for weapons. Oh. Well, that makes this significantly less interesting to me. <laughs> I want weapons, not specials. Two specials. So the slots are two specials. Oh, but look at this. Okay, those... So, five, zero, zero. Seven, so that's five weapons. Five slots that we are used to and then two special slots. It says two... This has a shield slot and a special slot for seven. This is eight for one and two. So actually, we can't get more weapon slots. Is what this means. Have your ship back. I don't care. Um, we could let's go. Let's let's consider shields might still be a good idea, but um, let's see here. So the lightning gun. Actually, I gotta wonder, if I just replace everything with a treater cannon... Uh, so I like how it's spelled cannon, like Fanon and cannon. <laughs> um... I'm not sure how I should do this. But I did upgrade the main slot, so the lightning gun should use less heat. Because I've been upgrading that a lot, you know. Oh, we can see the weapon preview. Okay. I didn't even realize that. I'm dumb. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that... No. Why? Specific three fragments on impact. That's not bad, but... 
Oh, wow, holy crap. <laughs> That's a rather large animation. <laughs> Maybe I'll go with the laser beam. Hyper, why are you still trying to struggle with that game? That's what the rocket looks like. Gap is just explosives. I mean, that's not bad. That's it. Okay. Um, I wonder how the lightning... Does it... Does it aim for enemies, or is it just random shots? It looks like random shots, but maybe it aims towards the enemy. I don't know. I guess I'll try it. The game and Chucklefist aren't great. Are they both bad? This seems worth the extra heat, too. Let me go ahead and buy two of those. Alright. See if this loadout works well. Oh, what? Huh? I'm sorry, why exactly? I can't put the lightning gun in the main weapon. Why? Left and right only. Well, that's... dumb. Alright, fine. I'm glad I noticed that now. It's a little late, but whatever. Let's go back and get rid of it. Maybe I do well with just a bunch of try shots, actually. Main, 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 main. Doesn't say, doesn't say. Oh yeah, it doesn't even say here. It says it when I'm trying to equip it. I guess if it doesn't say main, then it's not a main and he has to go in the side slots. So it actually limits up to these five for the main. Hmm. That's kind of random and dumb. Why did they, why make the limitation like that? I do admit that laser beam is very tempting. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what it does. Next mission. Mazinger. The derelict space station was deserted after the Great 42 Stars War. Rip the eight states that didn't make it to that war. <laughs> Search and retrieve any artifact. Forgotten artifacts still there. Let's try the laser. Oh, our heat doesn't, uh, go up, actually. Wait, that doesn't increase our heat? What? Oh, I'm shooting bubbles! Oh, I'm dead. What? Wait, hold on. What killed me? Actually, that might have been good, because now we have full health. <laughs> so, I'll take it. I'm not sure what I ran into. I need to understand what I... Is there walls here, or...? What did I run into? Oh, I ran into that. Okay. I understand now. Now I know what an obstacle looks like, I guess. It's anything with a- oh, I see the- oh, that's kind of deceptive. So anything with a light orange border. The dark orange borders are fine. Like this here is not- it's not- that's in the way. Okay. Um, bubbles are interesting. It's filled- it sounds less powerful, but I think actually it's probably better than the- well, it actually is. I, it has better DPS by a little bit than what we had before. This is good, actually. I have a little more spread of what I can do now. That's a speed up. That's a speed down. I'd rather speed down. Speed down sounds better than speed up. So it's good I can just hold down. I thought I'd have to, like, let go of the laser because of its heat consumption, but no. For some reason... It only- my heat only goes up when I'm using my subs weapons. Maybe it's because of my levels that I put in the main weapon. Works for me. Um. Hi? I found a meditating dude. The time to murder him. Prophet. What? Oh, is that a warp? That's a little weird, but okay. I- and, Sir. Seems a little... Okay, I can't even really hit you there. That's a weird way of... I kind of like that, though, because it, it is... Just, it, like, throws me off. I have to, like, avoid the warp. Granted, it's hard to tell if the hitbox is on the damn thing. Ow! The warp is disappearing! Ah, I hate fade-out animations. It's always hard to tell when something's actually gone in a fade-out animation. 
Also, what a dick. Could you please go to an upper platform where we fighting where we can fight fairly? Thank you. Oh god. I don't like you. You're annoying. Get out. I fucking blew him up. Alright, well, now I'm a one-hit wonder again, but well, it's whatever. That guy's annoying because he just hangs out at the bottom where you can't hit him, so. It's, it looks like there's a 50% a, a chance he'll go somewhere where I can't attack, so. Not a good boss design. Generally speaking, it does it's not fun if you're fighting a shoot 'em up boss that can hit you while you can't hit it. Generally speaking, while bosses should be aggressive and dangerous, you should always have the ability to attack them. Oh, a mod conflict. We've seen a few of those in our in our staff. We'll fit enough. <laughs> uh, that's a bad joke. <laughs> not as many. Not that many, really. But it's happened. It always happens. You have a large group of people together trying to work things out. Eventually, it's going to be some disputes. Uh, am I going to just kind of pass under this? All right. I feel uncomfortable. This thing has walls, but... Uh. 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 This is really uncomfortable. Okay. Well. That's fine. It's fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Look, that profit guy had fucked my health bar because I was so annoyed at him. I would have been fine in that fight, probably. <laughs> Try that again. It's just his his attack pattern. His, the warp thing is really fucking annoying. I hate being displaced like that. Really pay. See, when I play a shoot 'em up, I pay heavy attention to where I am in the map. So something like that really throws me off. I do have to say, I feel like the hitboxes here are not well... Like, right here. Like, I get that they added a bright orange edge to the dangerous part, but... Man, they should have done more to make this stand out. It should be, like, a different palette color entirely. It's very uncomfortable. I have to keep, like, second-guessing what I can get hit by here. Enough for the problem. The walk game puts you in a safe spot. Counts on your movie. Oh, I have to. So the wait. Are you sure about that? That's you put a lot of faith in that warp, but I could give that a shot. Sure. You want to test that theory? Sure. We'll give it a shot. Oh, you're right. Huh. What do you know? Can't trick me. I'm kind of impressed that works. <laughs> Granted, I mean, he does attack me directly with some stray bolts, too, so I gotta be careful. Right there. Panic put punishing. Oh well, okay. Fair enough! I'm actually surprised. For some reason, I didn't think the game was going to be well designed enough to make that actually work. But yeah, it did work. Like, I figured it would occasionally put me offset a little bit and I'd still take damage, but no, it worked. So, cool. I don't know, this, this guy isn't a terrible shoot up by any means, but it definitely lacks a teeny bit of polish here and there. Still, though, I don't like the Prophet because when he's on the lower platforms, I literally just have to kind of sit there, so it's still not very fun, those parts. Dude, if I can get to the boss of all my health, I should be fine. Even if he pulls out some annoying things, I, I should be okay.
That dragon, though, was great. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, it was really nice of him to let me go get some apple cider. I don't like this big old sh thing. It doesn't get out of the way until the the boss gets here before this gets out. I'm just so I can't see where I am, you know? Like it's like, oh my god. This seems manageable. Oh god, that's less manageable. Can I destroy your fire? I can't. Okay. Oh what the fuck? Okay, when are you? Okay, I guess this is just what you do now. Alright, cool. Man, that's a... You know, I'm used to bosses having big laser attacks, but man. He sure shoots it really fast, doesn't he? I don't have much room to, like, pop in, but whatever. He changes the attack pattern again. Ow, what the... What the fucking... Shit! This boss seems annoying. <laughs> Thank God. Good thing I found the safe spot. Kind of impromptu there. And thank you, you've done this all with special items or a shield. Ah, eh, that stuff's just for... That stuff's there for people to panic. Oh, the danger zone. Time to go to the danger zone! Actually, wait, hold on. Do I have anything I could buy? Not really. <laughs> Though, given that... No, no, I'm happy with what I got. I'll say I'm happy. Like, I'm saying I could play the harder difficulties of these stages like I did with the first one, but I don't see any reason to. Let's just beat the game. Let's go into the death ship, which apparently we can just do. Surprised we had we didn't have to fight our way in, but okay. Well, here's the Dread Star that we were. Here's what we were wanting to avenge our fathers this whole time about. Time to defeat the. Yeah, I was right. By the way, this is a. This is really not that long a game. <clears throat> So we're not gonna fight the Dreadstar, we're gonna fight inside the Dreadstar. Alright. Oh. It was your fault all along, you creature. Um, okay. I like okay, I can't. Oh god, okay. It's hard to tell what's uh what poked me. Oh, I see. You can only attack down there. Okay. Kind of learning the attack patterns. I'm doing okay so far. I just... It's weird. He's not poking out with the right ones for some reason. Hey, it's Dread Skull's heart. Um, now what? Alright. Oh, is this another case where I'm safe up here? It looks like it. Alright, simple enough then. This is the final boss, everyone. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> there's a- wait, there's a person in one of those. Probably gonna have to destroy that one. How do I get around to hit him, though? This is very awkward. Can I, like, maybe slip in and just- Actually, wait, yeah, I probably can do that. Just- just, uh, there we go. Ow, fuck! Okay, don't don't do that. For, little, for too long, that is. Okay. I'm just gonna plank damage in a safe manner to this vein. It's a very awkward boss placement, I'm just gonna say that. 
It's a shame that my laser beam's nice horizontal, like, effect doesn't actually do anything. That's a shame, really. Bomb cores are safe? Wait, really? Oh yeah, they, they are actually. Well, assuming that blood doesn't... Yeah, that blood doesn't hit me. Actually, the spikes can't get me at the bottom either. Okay. Safer than it looks, in other words. Do you think I should not destroy the capsule with the guy? Or do you think I should destroy the capsule with the guy? The heart of evil! Oh, there's another guy. How many guys are there? Like, I might have to destroy it to free them, but I might also have to not destroy it so they don't die. Hard to say. I'm just gonna break it. Plus, he's whacking me with those, so I don't want him doing that. I saved him! <laughs> Looks like that was what I have to do. This face isn't actually that bad. <laughs> oh. Okay, time to drive. <laughs> There's a little twinkle effect when I touch them, so I think I am saving them. Alright, Heart of Evil, time for you to die. <laughs> Thank you. Why was the final boss not the hardest boss? Also, why did we not actually fight the cool fucking death metal ship? One last hit. Now look at that. Like, we didn't fight the damn thing. I thought we were gonna- Like, that's- That was an opportunity to make the final boss fight a little more interesting. You saved me. Father! <laughs> your father saved. You warp out of the sector. Smile on your face. But what about the other person I saved? I saved two people. What's the other person? <laughs> Having to feed the evil Red Skull and rescue your father, you decided to retire from battle heading and chase other dreams. Okay. For now. I'm just finding it weird, like, it's a cool ship, right? You see in the entry. You don't fight it, though. You think it, you, it would make a lot of sense for the final boss fight to be like, you have to fight your you have to fight the outside of the ship, beat it up, then fly inside and fight the heart. But no, they just skip the the idea of an outside fight. You just you just get in. The end. Okay. Feels a little rushed. <laughs> you didn't fly under them. I did, though. I collected both of them in a sparkle effect. I don't know what you're talking about. I touched both of them. <laughs> Oh, you asked the question. Sorry, I thought you were saying the statement. The end? I don't know, is it? Maybe I have to play it hard differently to actually get it to be cool. And... Because it did feel a little lacking, so maybe that's intentional. I don't know. It didn't put a question mark for the, the end. I don't know. I ain't entirely sure, that's what I'm trying to say. Octotentical woman? What? Where? <laughs> oh, here we are, back here. <laughs> um. You have to be in order, okay, that's what I thought. Well, I mean, I could go beat the higher modes, but I just wanted to get through the game. Um, let's see something real fast. First of the right had a tentacle that the right arms were meant to be in the final silhouette. Oh! No, I wasn't paying enough attention. Sorry. <laughs> That's right, it is a comic book. Dreadstar is a comic book. I knew it. I don't think it's related. I'm not sure if there's more to this game or not, but it's not for me to find out. This how for an hour episode went longer because I just wanted to go through the levels. They're pretty good levels. 
I give this game like a seven. That's I think that's what I would give it. It's not bad. It's not the best shoot 'em up, but it's solid. It's definitely a nice little fix of shoot 'em up action. Even if it's not like the most amazing thing ever. Um I don't know what's up with the end screen. Maybe you gotta beat everything on the hardest difficulty. That wouldn't be terribly surprised. If there's any content locked away, I bet you have to beat I bet you have to three star every sector. Uh, that might give you a different ending saying, but I'm not really concerned about that myself. But that wouldn't make a lot of sense because, like, look at all the upgrade slots we didn't use. T like, there's we could looks like we're level nine. Looks like we can go up to level forty. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess you could earn a lot more experience, beat all the levels again, and hard to do for these. But that seems a little bit like uh, if, if that does unlock new content, cool. Nice enough for those who want to do it, but uh, if that is the case, it is worth pointing out that there are only six levels and you have to tread them again and again three times to unlock everything. I would have preferred more levels with just single tiers over a small number of levels that have different tiers, but hey, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. You don't have to play the other tiers to see the credits, so um, yeah. Overall, pretty good. 7 out of 10 is, is still a solid score for me. Um, so don't think that that means it's bad or anything. How much is Dreadstar? That's a, I need to know that. This is one of those games where, again, like my opinion kind of varies depending on the price. The price of Dreadstar is 10 It's much... <laughs> it's kind of the same case as uh, Guys, then. Because in Guys, it was $10, and I thought it was a little... It was more... That was kind of a 7 out of 10, too. Um... Again, I don't think it's worth $10. Right now it's on sale for $8.99, to be fair, but... Um, yeah, I, I, I'd spend five to five to seven for this, I'd think. So maybe get it on sale. That's what I'd recommend. But, that was Dreadstar, the quest for revenge. Straightforward enough game, but plays perfectly fine. So it's, it's, it's a nice run through, I'd say. Maybe not something to get really invested in. I don't really feel like that would be something I would get invested in to try to be all the tiers, but yeah, just good for a casual playthrough.